the land clearance is where we take land uh, that is in big blocks, we remove the residual structures, fences, paths, driveways, swimming pools and anything that's been left behind after the insurer has carried out the demolition. We then package the land into an area, take out the scoping on the land, look at what trees we want to retain, what vegetation has to be removed. We then put that out to the community to take any residual vegetation that's left behind after we've removed and retained what we want to keep and then clear the land into a grass or light grass state. So the time frame for land clearance, once we've got a block of land, we then program it out on its size. So if it's say 10 sections, it will generally take about a week to turn that land over. The process of doing that may take a month. By the time we get the land, fence it off for security, scope the vegetation, remove the residual vegetation, then go in for the earthworks and the turning the land back into a grass state takes around about a week for an area. The bigger the area, the longer the land clearance will take in that area, but we'll try and restrict it to at least a month process on each one. Land clearance blocks vary from 5 to 23, so depending on how much we've got clear will depend on how big the block is, but some blocks may be economic to do in the size of five sections, some blocks we may have to wait until we have 20 or more to actually turn the land over in an economic state. Trees and plants on the properties that we're using for land clearance will be scoped by a vegetation contractor, then we'll take any vegetation that doesn't meet our attention, put it out to the community groups to remove, and then get a contractor in to remove the residual vegetation that's left behind. The vehicles that we use for land clearance will be from utes right up to big excavation equipment. It's most likely that you'll hardly even notice these are on the land due to where they'll be and how far away they'll be from people. The noise that they make is about the same as a lawnmower mowing lawns next door to your property. While we're working in the area, residents need to make sure that their children are being kept safe around the work sites. Generally every area will be fenced off, but we need to make sure that people are staying outside those cordoned and fenced off areas while the work's occurring. Once the work's finished, the land will look a lot like we've done in Courtney Drive, where we've just grassed the land over and it kind of looks like a rural but a park area. It will vary across different areas in Christchurch through the red zone, but the majority of the land will look like a grassed off area. So once land clearance is finished and we've got the seeds up, some plants have grown, Sarah will keep the maintenance of the area up to a normal standard as you would as a normal landowner. So we may have grass in some areas, we may have plants, we may even have flowers, and Sarah will continue that maintenance of that programme.